the Sun has seen everything come into existence in the solar system. It has seen the birth of our planet and our moon. It lies evidence to the rise of great species and their demise. It has seen kingdoms rise, empires fall, countries being chalked into existence on the world map. It is the only evidence of every lover's promise and every child's cooing. In the cosmic scheme of things the sun is the sole spectator of the origin of life on earth. And when our calling comes, it will be there then too, watching our planet turn into ash. We are, because the sun is. But, the sun, the powerhouse of our livelihood, very much has the potential to disrupt our lives. And, something like this has already begun. Orbit. Beyond the blue. The sun, which lies at the heart of our solar system, consistently provides us with the required, or at least anticipated amount of heat and light to survive. But, it is acting up lately by emitting an immense amount of energy, which is certainly way more than enough for us here on Earth. On the night of March 29th, a massive solar flare knocked out radio communications on our planet. As we have already explained solar flares before, they are huge explosions from the sun's surface that emit intense bursts of electromagnetic radiation. This solar flare was immensely powerful and classified as an X1.2 flare, belonging to the most powerful X-class, barged in on the Earth, ionized the top layer of the atmosphere, and managed to severely disturb the radio communication across Southeast Asia, Australia, and New Zealand for a good one hour. The flare appeared from the largest and most complex sunspot group that is currently observed in the southwestern part of the Sun's disk by space weather forecasters. This X-class solar flare is already the seventh this year. Just so you know the difference, the year 2022 altogether witnessed just seven X-class solar flares. This year has barely started and is already on the verge to surpass 2022's count of flares. That is massive. This also means we are now in a very active part of the solar cycle. On January 6th, an intense X-class solar flare erupted from the sun's surface. Two more X-class flares followed within the next few days, precisely showing an increase in the solar activity. One of the UK tabloids raised the grave possibility of major continent-wide power blackouts. And, the mayhem continued. While we are discussing the intensity of solar flares, the most recent X1.2 flare is nowhere close to one of the most insanely powerful flares witnessed in 1859, the Carrington event. This solar flare was so powerful that it is believed to release as much energy as 10 billion megatons of exploding TNT that is unimaginable. The Carrington event showcased an ironic display of both magnificence and malignancy. It resulted in failing telegraph systems all over Europe and North American stations along with reported cases of smoking as well as fires. Interestingly, it also created a strong global display of aurora, which was so bright in the night sky that people could read newspapers under its light. And, some gold miners in the US started preparing their breakfast as they were tricked into believing that it was morning. Most solar flares are nowhere close to this, but that doesn't rule out the possibility of destruction. This leads to the next point of discussion. Should you be worried about solar flares? Solar flares can potentially accompany coronal mass ejections, which are giant, planet-engulfing clouds of plasma, even though both flares and CMEs involve massive explosions, the CMEs have a reputation for being more menacing than flares, as they carry more material. When a CME directly hits the Earth, it disturbs the magnetosphere. This leads to massive magnetic changes that can affect our modern technology, degrade radio communication, 
and take down the entire power grid, leaving us to survive the blackout without a cellular network. One thing you don't need to worry about is the CME damaging your expensive iPhones and iPads. Sean Elvidge, head of space environment research at the University of Birmingham says, I can't think of any consumer electronic impacts that would even be possible. You will shortly know why. Imagine you're sitting at your computer, and suddenly this one, insanely strong particle hits your computer and fries it. That is the only unlikely possibility in which your devices will be affected in a solar storm. But, here is where it gets worrying. Although solar flares are unlikely to disrupt human lives, scientists are still unaware of the fact that when will a new solar flare occur? While the X-Class is considered to be the strongest one, there is no upper limit as to how massive the flare can be. The new flare has a probability of being as negligible as a mere A-Class category flare, which may reach Earth and barely do anything, or it can be even more catastrophic than the Carrington event and can possibly be fatal for our lives, as we are highly surrounded by technology. Remember, the radiation discharged from solar flares travels at the speed of light. It can reach Earth in just over eight minutes, with hardly any time on our hands and no confirmed arrival of a solar flare. We don't have long to respond to a catastrophic outburst, there is a possibility raised for more incoming solar flares in the near future. The current 25th solar cycle is set to reach its maximum by 2025. This calls for us to be more prepared to survive radio blackouts, mesmerizing auroras, and more power grid disruptions. Even though the sun is at the center of our solar system, it nevertheless hides many secrets from science. Uncovering these riddles could provide insight into mysterious activities observed in other stars, and potentially provide us with priceless information. It is our curiosity which has led us to send numerous missions to understand the dynamics of one of the largest stars in the universe. The Solar Orbiter spacecraft is our attempt to get to know the Sun a little better. This spacecraft is a satellite jointly developed by the European Space Agency and NASA to observe the Sun. It is designed to procure detailed measurements of the Sun's heliosphere and also observe its polar regions. On most days, our generally placid Sun goes about its job, providing a consistent and predictable quantity of heat and light to keep our planet and its inhabitants alive. But, as we enter the 25th solar cycle, things will get hotter, literally. Just as the Sun is responsible for weather on Earth, solar activity can also be responsible for disturbance in our space environment and atmosphere. We need to keep an eye out on these disturbances as they may someday affect us, but what do I know? Beyond the Blue